I had the opportunity last week to join my sister as she traveled along the Oregon coast and into McMinnville, which is part of wine country in Oregon. So I'm going to share some of our adventures with you and I hope you enjoy. Our first stop was at Fort Clatsop, which is where Lewis and Clark and their expedition crew spent the winter in 1805. We enjoyed walking around this fort area and some of the various structures. This is a replica of the original fort that was built by the Lewis and Clark expedition. The original fort decayed due to weather along the Oregon coast. My sister and I really fell in love with the trees along the Oregon coast. We called these hairy trees. I need to look up what they're actually called, but the trees um, are just so cool. And just the environment along the Oregon coast is really something interesting to experience. From Fort Clatsop, we drove to the town of Astoria, which is about five miles away from the National Park. This is a really cute little town, lots of shops to check out, and a really beautiful port area. Um, this is one of the oldest cities in the state of Oregon, so worth checking out. After Astoria, we drove to Ecola State Park for the lookout over Cannon Beach. This was such a beautiful scene. It actually brought tears to my eyes. <laughs> this is definitely a spot that you need to check out if you are along the Oregon coast. Probably one of the more famous spots because down on Cannon Beach is Haystack Rock, which is a pretty famous area. But this view was incredible. We did not have time for the hike, or so my sister said. And we actually missed out on doing that hike because the next day when the hike was planned, it ended up being very rainy. It was just a downpour all day. so. If you're there, do the hike um, because the trees in that area, again, are amazing. some time exploring Cannon Beach. Haystack Rock is just really cool and it's hard to appreciate it from videos or pictures. After that we traveled up to Seaside which was where we were staying for the night. We got some ice cream at uh, Sea Star Gelato so check it out if you're in the area. We also stayed at the Ashore Hotel, which was completely remodeled and has a great owner. It was just so cute. So check that out if you're in the area. It is a really cute hotel. And the next day we traveled along Highway 101. Highway 101 has many scenic overlooks. So here we are at Hug Point. And as you can see, it was a really foggy and rainy day, but it was still cool to stop at these lookouts. This is the scenic overlook 
on Niakani Mountain, the highest point along the Oregon coast, and you can see the ocean and the sky just blend together. We continued to drive along the Oregon coast until we got to Oceanside, which was where we planned to have dinner. There are a bunch of houses uh, in the fog that you can't see in this video. So that was neat. Uh, we had dinner that evening at Roseanne's, which is just a small local restaurant there in Oceanside. And we had a really pretty view of the ocean for our meal. On the way out, we stopped at Simon's State Scenic Viewpoint and the clouds were starting to clear a little bit, which worked out really well because we had a beautiful sunset view at Terramore Motel, which was where we were staying for the night. I definitely recommend the Terramore for the view alone and the access to the ocean. So we had this beautiful sunset, which was what we were hoping for, and the Terramore, it may not be the best accommodations, but honestly, you can't beat this view, so <laughs> if you're just staying there for one night like we were, it was worth it. In the morning, I spent a lot of time down on the beach, and there's a great walkway down to the beach right from the Terramore property, and there's also a lovely coffee shop just 0.3 miles away with a great owner. I spent a lot of time talking to her and that was so much fun. So check out the Terramore if you're in the area. I highly recommend Seaworthy Coffee in the Tards. The owner is amazing and I actually got there half an hour before she opened and she made an Americano for me. She also told me about Tunnel Beach and exploring and hunting for agate. So here she is showing me her collection of agate. And yeah, your rocks are not this cool, Sierra. <laughs> oh, it took a long time to put this together, so. Up inside. The, it, oh. the refraction of the particles that, um, the crystalline structure that makes up the agate mm -hmm. causes it to glow inside and keep the color in. And so, this is another one. Ooh. Um, this one has a little crystal cave inside. Oceanside Beach, and we're gonna go through this tunnel and see what's on the other side. Okay, here we go through the tunnel.
my hair, it's still wet. And it's so damp and humid here, it's taking forever to dry. But I just feel so lucky to be here. It's so nice. I could probably spend the whole day looking for rocks. <laughs> With the coffee break, of course. on the schedule. <sighs> okay, so I think we're gonna do this Cape Trail. I think there's some lookouts and we're just gonna cut it short. We're not gonna do the whole 2.4 to the viewpoint and then 2.4 back. But, um, it should be nice. Oh, look, it's so beautiful. It's so is amazing. This is so cool. We're barely into it and it's just amazing. <laughs> I just, oh my gosh. Cape Lookout State Park. bad for Oregon because I didn't even know it was a temperate rainforest here. Really all I knew about Oregon was that it existed on a floppy disk for Apple computers when you're in fourth grade and you try not to die of dysentery <laughs> or typhoid fever or snake bites. But Turns out Oregon is so much more. You guys gotta check it out. It's really amazing here. This hike in particular, we did not get to hike it. Um, haystack rock which now I'm blanking on the word because the weather was so bad it was pouring rain so I'm glad we get to do this hike If you can't hike the full five miles, you'll still get a view. So the video, the pictures, just don't do this trail justice. I mean, the ocean is right down there. You look down and you see ocean. 
<laughs> I can't get over that. I can't get over it. And it's so blue. But again, if you're not experiencing it firsthand, it's hard to be like so in awe of it. But as we're walking, we just keep stopping and like, oh my goodness. It looks so amazing. This is Cape Kawanda and it's definitely the most popular beach area we've been to. It is really nice today, so that might be one of the reasons. But we're gonna check it out, we'll get more big rocks. <laughs> walk up this sand dune and check out the view. So you probably can't tell how steep this is, but it's quite a climb up there. I am going to go explore this. There's a lookout over here and then we'll see. But I just came from that area up there. here. See what we can see. Okay, I'm almost to the top. <laughs> I'm just taking a little bit of a break. I'm going up there. Beautiful view behind me. It'll be fun going down. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm back at the bottom. I was literally like 15, 20 feet from the top and I looked down and then I got scared because I don't like heights. And so I freaked out a little bit, decided to come back down. I'm sure the view from the top is amazing, but I feel like I got close enough with a couple of these other lookouts. But man, that is a workout going up there doable though um, but yeah if you're not afraid of heights you'll have no problem <laughs> but I shouldn't have looked down should have just kept going that's okay so this is the end of our trip along the Oregon coast from there we did travel into wine country and we visited several wineries. But the trip along the Oregon coast was so fun and so beautiful and I'm glad I was able to enjoy that with my sister and especially after such a long year with COVID it was nice to do something different and fun and stretch out of my comfort zone. So we had a great time and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching!